Hey guys, Stephen Reviews Products here. Today we're taking a look at the Atoto reversing camera. Um, this is kind of an add-on to the rest of what I had going on with the other Atoto stuff. So we're gonna talk about the camera and how to hang it in and mount it and then how to hook all the stuff up. So basically this is designed to go behind your license plate. So I'm gonna actually get the frame out of here. So if this is your license plate, it's going to go right behind the plate. And then you would go ahead and put your screws through just like that. So then that way when it's actually on your car, all you see is the camera itself. Um, I've seen a lot of people driving, they get lazy and they just stick it right on the front. Some are designed to only go on the front. Um, this one, as you can see, it actually has a gap in the middle there. So then it lets you slip behind the plate. Now I do like this because it gives you a big enough gap. If you have one of these nice um, metal license plate frames, you still have plenty and plenty of room to make it work. So connection wise, so we have two connections here. We have a video out and a power in. And then on our harness, the harness is a little tricky. Um, there's no directions that I found in the box or I've misplaced them between when I got it and when I opened it. So this is gonna go on the camera side. So you plug yellow to yellow, right? And you plug red to red. Now you also have this red and black cable. This is gonna go to your reverse light. So positive to the positive side, negative to a ground, it doesn't matter. Uh, just a ground source, uh, just a nut or something like that. And then all the way on the other side, which by the way, they give you plenty of cables. So this is great for cars or trucks or SUVs even, that's where it's going on. This is gonna go into your radio. So this goes into the video input for the video camera or the backup camera input. And then you have a red wire and this is gonna go to the backup wire on the wire harness. So what this enables is when you kick on your reverse lights, when you throw your car in reverse, this is gonna get 12 volts and it's gonna put that into the radio. And then your radio is gonna flip from your regular display to the video camera for the rear backup camera display. So now that we have that all explained, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my car and go ahead and put it in. And then I will show you guys the finished product and how it works. So I've gone ahead and pulled the car apart or at least the back half of the car. Um, I wanted to give this the best chance of blending in. So this is for an existing button and uh, lights. So this will actually go in here and then mount right up in there. So here we go. So my goal with this is to get it as stock as possible. Um, so there's already a rubber grommet built in to the back panel. Uh, this is the panel on the back of the car. So what I'm gonna do is put everything right in here. And then that way, our camera and everything is all going to go into here. So I'll tuck all these through, and then we will have the camera just sitting about here. All right guys, so I got everything wired up. As you can see, I tucked in the plugs here and just have those tucked up inside. Um, and then we have the splitter, and then if we follow the power cable, ooh, we go, oh, darn you, glare. We go right here. So this is my reverse light plug. There's the actual socket. So this will just plug right into that. And then what I'm gonna do is I have a black and yellow wire, or actually it's gray and yellow if we can get that to focus without the sun in our face and then a black wire so red will go to yellow and gray and black will go to black and then i'll just put a little dab of solder on each side so it stays in place and then we will run the wire down the side of the car so now one thing i wanted to point out let me back up a little bit the sun will cooperate with us come on so it's important to decide where you want your wire to go um, because you need to run it down one side of your car. So you're either disassembling the one side or you're disassembling the other side. Um, so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna, now that I have this cable, I've got a good amount of cable left over, is we're gonna run it down through here 
and we're gonna run it through this rubber grommet here so that way everything is sealed and these just pop off really easily and there should be enough room that you can snake the connector through and then it'll come out here then we'll run it down and over and all the way up to the front of the car and then we'll pop the radio out and we'll put it in there so one thing i wanted to test before i put everything back together is just the fact that everything is getting power so i have the little 12 volt out from the unit and i just need to ground on something and we're getting 10.08 so almost 12 volts out now we're going to go up to the actual unit and we will test the same there and see if we get 12 volts out and there we go 10.8 so now that that's all set up let's go ahead and button her all up hey guys so i got the radio pulled out and i have the wires run I actually had to make a run to the store and pick up one of these and one of these. I was about a foot and a half short. Um, I know obviously 12 feet worth of cable is way too much, but what can I say? Okay, so I got the wire extended. This is just a piece of copper wire. Um, I did have to use, and you are going to need one of these uh, terminal butt connectors or a a coupler um so this is the factory head unit here harness these are the wires i'm currently not using these are for the um steering wheel controls which that is coming soon that's next on the list and um, here's all the existing stuff so we're going to connect our red wire coming from the camera to this purple wire labeled back car and then on the head unit side, we're going to plug it into, hold on, RC in. Video in is for like a video input, RC in is for the rear camera input. So, here we go. Okay guys, I got everything hooked up. Let's see if it works. I got the key on. The engine's not running, but it's okay. I we'll just have it in park. And the parking brake's on. Let's go ahead and throw it into reverse. As you can see, it switches over. And look at that. Wow. So I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there's a little bit of a flicker. It's from this street light right here. They switched out to LED and now everything's fancy. Um, so as you can see, the green line is right at the edge of the curb before the street. So you have zones. So you have red, yellow, green, and blue. Blue is obviously the farthest. Green, I would say, we're gonna actually walk it outside and we'll see how far. So green is safe, blue is super safe, yellow, and then red. So let's go see how it looks outside. And compare the lines on there to real life all right guys so i got the camera there as you can see if we zoom in let's see can we capture it oh autofocus is going to struggle a little bit but okay anyway so camera's here back of the car is here there's a layer of brick here um so if i go from the back of the car to the edge of the concrete which is right there that is about I would say 10 feet so three and a half steps for me so let's say this is about 10 feet so 10 feet is your green zone and then I think these are in three foot intervals so then this is the blue zone which is about 12 feet back from the car. So then that puts our yellow zone at about the six foot range and our not so safe zone at about the three foot range. There's some brick here. I wanna see if I can see this on camera so we can get an idea of our red zone and see how actually close that is. So you can kinda of see right there in the corner of the screen, right there, there's the brick. And that's the red zone. And that is about three feet from the back of the car. 
see if I can get it to come in a little better. This is about three feet from the edge of the bumper to the brick. So that's pretty good. So about each row is about three feet. And the camera turned out pretty good. I actually got it mounted up here. And this is what it looks like. So thanks for watching.